Good morning, monkeys. Welcome to another episode of Monkeylandia here at Coaster Monkey Studios. If this is your first time joining us, well, I am Gabriel Coaster Monkey, and what do I do? I make Planet Coaster videos, I make vlogs from theme parks around the United States, and I make RCT Classic videos, which the next one will be coming up this week. So get excited. If you like what you see here, don't forget to click like and subscribe down below uh, from future content. You know, we're forever making stuff here at the channel. And if this is not your first time here, well, welcome back. What are we doing today? Well, Crazy Taxi Coaster is getting its very own station. Uh, I'm super stoked about this station. Can't wait to get this video out to you guys. It's literally not gonna post until August and I'm in the middle of July right now. So yeah, it's gonna be a long time before you guys see me do this video, but don't you fret because we've got a crazy taxi coaster video online uh, on YouTube. So if you click on the link above right now, you'll be able to check out that video and see what crazy taxi coaster is all about. And then down below, what we'll have is the Steam Workshop link where you could download this ride and all of its uh, theming for yourself. You are more than welcome to do so. Uh, all the downloads and likes are well appreciated as well as you joining us today. Thank you so much. I'm truly grateful for your, your joining us. So yeah, here we are. We are making a building inspired by, inspired by uh, the Hearst building in New York City. Now, granted, um, I, I'm not gonna lie, granted it's not identical whatsoever to uh, that building. The bottom half of the building is fully um, inspired by the Hearst building. The top of the building is inspired by a building I saw. And I don't know where in the world it is, to be honest with you. Um, but I saw it online and I was like, you know what? I want this as my building uh, for my station. I wanted it to be very ultra modern. I wanted it to feel different. I really wanted it to stand out. And I think it does it and it does it tenfold. Very, very much so. So I'm excited for this. Um, I love it with the sunset. Look, oof. Ah, God, I love sunsets in this game. I love the lighting in this game. So what are we doing? So right now we gray block I gray blocked out the building um, foundation and kind of what I wanted it to look like and where I wanted each um, each part of the building to fall. And then what I'm doing now is I'm setting up what I want the spines to look like, that the vertical spines, the vertical supports that go up the side of the building. And I'm trying to get it nice and even. I had a little bit of trouble here. Uh, you know, for some reason, the gridding just would not work with me, which is a bit of a challenge. Uh, a little frustrating, not gonna lie. But I figured it out in the end, and I'm very pleased with the final product. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to let the camera roll a little bit as we build up the skeleton for this building, and uh, I'll let you guys enjoy. Check you back in a bit.
So now that we've got the skeleton up with our smooth concrete, I came back with the art shapes and created our futuristic, almost plastic facade. Uh, but it's not plastic. Who knows what it would be in real life? I don't know. Maybe it would be like a white stucco or like maybe a metal alloy. Who knows? I don't know, my friend. Um, but yeah, clearly I've had sugar this morning. Uh, <laughs> so as we're banging this out, you know, I noticed there were a couple of opportunities here, specifically with the station side of it. Uh, the entryway where the, you know, the, the guests are lined up to get into their row. So I go back and I, I look at that in a moment. But what we're doing here is we are creating alternating floors, right? Where they're, they're asymmetrical, they don't line up perfectly. And uh, this is a green building. I think all of the modern buildings that I've done so far uh, have been green buildings, except for, yeah, I think all of them have, really. No, I lied because we had the modern restaurant and the modern chief beef. Chief beef. <laughs> I love this game. Um, so yeah, so so as we're banging this out, you know, we make it, it's a modern building, right? And we give it the green roof. Again, I love the idea of the, the, the greenery on top of this. I would love to do a whole park in this aesthetic. I think maybe that's a future project of mine. We call it Future World or something like that. Um, the world through the eyes of an idealist. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I ended up with a large space down on one end. I don't know if you guys saw that. Uh, and that space was a non-existent, cannot get rid of it. I cannot fill it in with an additional piece in the middle, which was the original intention. But um, I, I'm okay with the large piece at the end. I think it works out very well. Look at how great that looks at the sunset. Ah, see now, one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to have the sun traveling through, but I couldn't figure out a way to do it without you seeing inside of each floor. And I wanted, to, I didn't want to do an interior. Uh, so I wind up putting in behind the windows. I did two things. I double layered the white panes of glass. And then I went back and I put a blue art shape in between or just behind it. Uh, and what that does is it gives the, the idea of, of a mirrored uh, front or like a glass front, like it's, it's, it's bouncing the light or the color of the sky off the windows. Um, it looks good in the end, I think. You know, what do you guys think? You guys saw the intro video and, and whatnot. You tell me what you guys think. But yeah, so there was a lot of futzing around here, especially on the station side. I wanted to make sure that it was very clean. And I think I did a really good job with this. I love I love it because, again, it doesn't match up with the top, which is okay. Um, I'm very, very okay with that. And what I did was is I had it so that, watch what I do. I love this. So you take this now. People can walk through there. And I create these little T's. Not T's like T-E-A-S-E. -E, a T. T apostrophe S. Uh, and I think they look good from a um, structurally sound standpoint. It looks very stable uh, and it creates a very interesting look, which I, I think I really dig. I love working with the glass in this game. I feel like, I feel like if they could do one thing, make it so that you could see the glass as you're placing it. <laughs> you know, it made it a little bit difficult. Look at how it shines off the glass. Oh my God, it looks great, the sun.
Now I think I come back and I fix this. I don't like the way that edge looks. I'm gonna have to relook at that in the in the video or in the actual park. I don't know if I fix that edging, and that's gonna drive me nuts now until I finish recording this voiceover. <laughs> All right, so look at how great that looks. I love the asymmetrical feeling of it. It's very strong. Um, and I think it does exactly what I need it to do, which is stand out like a sore thumb. Because uh, we want this station to really stand out. We want people to be like, oh, well, okay, cool. Right, so you walk up to the, to the ride. And, you know, when you're walking around King Coaster Circle, you've got the entry to the ride there where the taxis crash into the building. But you exit out on the opposite side of this this hub, which I love because all the way around the exterior, what I'm thinking about doing, right now, obviously you see all the benches here. This is all like park seating. Now we're gonna have buildings wrapping all the way around to make it feel like you're in the middle of a city, okay? Um, and the intention is that these buildings are gonna have different food outlets, there's gonna be shopping, all different stuff inside, restaurants. Uh, we may even put a hotel in the center of the park here. So this way, as a hotel guest, quote unquote, when you're in the hotel, you get early entry into the park, which is pretty cool. Um, you just can't leave the hotel <laughs> when the park gets closed. I haven't figured out how we're going to do that yet. Um, but you never know. I mean, you can make it happen. Um, so yeah, so that's the intention here. So there's going to be all food outlets out over there. And we want this building to stand out like a sore thumb. Up oh, there's the Hearst building. And that's what the bottom is uh, attempting to look like. So we've already dropped our double panes of glass at this point, as well as put in our shopping outlets into the facade of this building. Now in real life, this building where the shopping outlets are, where the three souvenir stalls are, there are actual windows where they have pictures of the magazines that this particular building houses. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Hearst is a publishing company. So, and I use a lot of varying materials for this facade. A lot of them, to be honest with you. I, I literally went to town. I used a little bit of everything. Like for instance, I used diner pieces. These are diner pieces here, but they fit this aesthetic, this mid-century aesthetic so well. Mid-century modern kind of feel, which I love. And we do a lot of this art deco type architecture uh, that you'll see and I love look at that oh my god that's fantastic like it fits this art deco style so well and uh, I come back and I color it all gray or black because the coloring of this particular building is black and then you've got the sandstone coloring which you'll see here uh, which I do a lot of the, the the gray boxing with the sandstone now the juxtaposition of the black versus the sandstone, I think, is ideal. It really helps it stand out. And there's there's black accents throughout this facade, uh, specifically when you've got the flags out front, which you've seen in the intro video, um, as well as, uh, I think, now I can't remember offhand. I, I know I put windows around the doorway, uh, but you'll see kind of how it works out in a moment. We've also done some really interesting things with uh, creating our own, what's the word I want to use? The word is embellishments on the, on the facade of the building. Now I do a little bit of moving around here because this is supposed to be a little bit of grander around the facade, but I wanted to mix it up a little bit. You're going to see, I do a lot of overlaying of, of different pieces here because I wanted to create a lot of depth, a lot of interest. I want your eye to consistently be moving uh, around this facade and being like, okay, well, where do I look first, right? Where do I look next? Oh my God, how did he do that? Or so on and so forth, right?
So now I went back in here and you're going to see, I, I, I tried to do some editing of the actual building. And then, you know, if it was Wix, actually, for those of you who don't know who Wix is, W-I-K-Z, check out his YouTube. Uh, the man is amazing. He's fantastic at this game. Uh, he actually gave me the idea of shading the, the glass, which again, I didn't know you can shade glass. And then, which by the way, for those of you that don't know, when this, the light shines through the glass, it does not shine through in that color. Something to think about, Planet Coaster. Um, you should definitely uh, make an adjustment in future endeavors of Planet Coaster. Uh, maybe Planet Coaster 2. When the light shines through it, have it shine through in that color that it's shining through of the glass. But anyway, so yeah, so I changed it to the white and then he gave me the idea of putting a white, I'm sorry, blue, uh, my apologies, blue art piece behind the window glass like I was saying earlier. And if you like what you see here, don't forget to click like and subscribe for more. See, I love it. Now I'm remembering to do it every time that pops up. I'm like, hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? <laughs> All right, so next up in this, this portion here, I'm trying to figure out how to create some type of a balcony. Now, the original building has over the main doorway this faux balcony that sticks out. And it's very, very art deco. It's got these, you know, pieces leading up into the actual balcony itself. Uh, so I did some futzing around. As you can see here, look at that. Oh, wow, what is that angle? That was crazy. All right, so first thing we did is we created an archway over the door, and this is supposed to go in line with the archway that's on the on the door itself. You can see the door frame there, the diner door frame. So we wanted to play, uh, play up to that kind of feeling. And I think we accomplished it fairly well. Working on the spacing there. Spacing is everything. You've got to make sure your spacing is right whenever you're doing this type of, of archway. I've learned anything circular in this game requires, requires precision, like severe precision. Here I was trying to see, again, I was going to use balconies. I was like, you know, maybe. And then I decided, I wish this particular piece here, and you'll see what I use. I want to be using this one. I wish it had like one more rung down the center of it. So there was three instead of two to give it a little bit more depth. Uh, but you'll see here, we, we, I, uh, what I do is I take it, I separate them. I spread them out the width that I want them. And I think it starts to take shape here. Yeah, this is it. Now watch how great this takes shape. Now again, it's a full balcony. It's just there for show, right? To showcase that this is the entrance. In actuality, again, a very grand bathroom. So this is our third bathroom that we've made. It's super grand. It's like, oh my God, welcome to the grand bathroom. I think every bathroom going forward in Monkey Landia is gonna be a massive endeavor. <laughs> we'll call it the grand bathroom experience here at Monkey Landia. <laughs> we'll give it its own promo video oh my god that'd be great to have a bathroom promo video <laughs> oh i crack myself up so here we are using some firehouse pieces 
right? I, I was, again, thinking about how I could make this work. I wanted to give it that feeling of grandeur. And and that would have worked for me. But then I was like, you know what? No, I don't like the, the, the raw edges. So I come back and you'll see what I do in a moment. How fantastic is that? I love it. It's super art deco. I love it. It's got such a great feel to it, too. Now, getting the pieces to match up exactly on both sides, that was the issue. And if anybody could give me a, 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 some sort of, I don't know, advice on how to, how to mimic the left and the right. I, again, I'm all about symmetry. Symmetry for me is so massively important when it comes to anything I do. Love the way that looks. Ugh. And again, since it's a full balcony, we're just using the facade portion of it. Super sweet and clean. Look at that. Oh my God, it's great. Yes, I'm totally patting myself on the back right now. Now here's where I had a couple of, of issues I, I couldn't really figure out how i wanted i was going to use so many different types of flags and then i i wind up going with this one and and i'm okay with it i'm not sold sold on it um but i think it serves the purpose again what do you guys think you know uh do you guys like it do you not like it i mean i don't know i'm on the fence man I do love the way the the flooring came out here with the stone. It's got a very a very New York vibe to it. I don't know what it is. It reminds me very much so of of a couple of places that I've been in the city. From an interior standpoint, I, I spent a lot of time doing cleanup work. Now again, mind you, this is only like six days into me playing the game when I'm building this building, right? So I, I, I'm i still learning a lot of the mechanics and the techniques that work best. Oh, look at how great that looks just with the two flags. Maybe I'll go back to two flags. I don't know. We'll see. I know I add, I add a lot more to this. You guys will see what it looks like. Momentarily. She's so got this feeling of grandeur that I love. And I wanted it to feel very epic. Um... And it's the back side of this hub, right? It's not forward facing the front, which I like. I like that because now you've got something visually pleasing, some massive interest on both sides of the hub. You know, as you're walking through, something to look at, something to draw your attention, draw the eye. You know, you think about viewpoints, you think about, you know, uh, customer or guest perspective, what they're looking at as they're walking through. You, know, you get to see all of this. Now, what I'm gonna do is, before I actually start building in the park again, because I haven't built in the park in a while. Now, it's definitely been over about two weeks, because uh, I've been recording all these videos and I'm waiting for my computer to whatnot. But uh, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna do a recap walkthrough of the park, kind of where we are now, and what the plans are gonna look like going forward. And now that I've joined, the uh, Planet Coaster Imagineers. Um, I'm super stoked. Uh, I didn't join them, I joined their Discord. Let me rephrase that. 
Um, but yeah, I'm super stoked uh, to have them see this and kind of walk me through. And maybe I can get a couple cameos in working on the park, which would be awesome. Um, hint, hint, guys. Uh, but yeah, so here I am using, and this is a really cool ornamental item. Uh, this is actually a temple piece. And uh, I turned it into like a floret for the top of the top of these these columns i love this idea it's so smart <laughs> kidding <laughs> how cool is that again ornamental Barriers, right? Or, or I'm sorry, fencing or, or whatever you call it. What do you call it? Trim. <laughs> we'll call it trim. Um, and we've got to... Actually, I don't know if I moved that over or not. I've got to look at that again. But yeah, I mean, as, as we build on this ornamentality of this building, I wanted to have that feeling of grandeur, almost temple-like, you know? Because uh, that's the one in New York. It feels like a giant, massive like temple, which I love. Now for the, the inside and the back side of this building, I'm really not too worried on maxing out what it's gonna look like with a theming standpoint or, or putting you know a lot of effort into it. Cause a lot of it's hidden by shrubbery and by the walkway going up. We do do something fun in the next episode on the back side of this building, which is for me to know and for you to find out. <laughs> All right, and there's that transfer track. I put a transfer track in. I was gonna put a transfer track in, but I wound up taking it out. It was just too much. It, it was too cluttered, too tight. And you've got all this space in Planet Coaster, and I'm like jamming things on top of each other. And I couldn't figure out why I was doing that. So I wound up taking that down. Now, the whole premise behind this particular ride station is that it's supposed to be a taxi stand for like a building or a hotel or whatever, right? So let's call this the taxi stand, right? So that's what this is with this overhang, the glass overhang over top. And I, I get a little hammy, I'm not gonna lie. I, I kind of overdo it a little bit with the signage saying taxi stand, but it's fun. You'll see in a minute, it looks great. I love it. <laughs> Don't judge me for the amount of signage I use here. <laughs> oh my God, look what I did. I, <laughs> I forgot I did that. <laughs> that is awesome. See, when you make, make little mistakes like that, it just makes you laugh when it's on video. I've got a lot of mistakes that I laugh at on video, let me tell you. Like this channel. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my God, don't get me started on my humor. My humor is very dark and cynical. So some people get me, some people don't. If you don't get me, well, tough niggas. <laughs> Now, 
Now, one thing I was trying to get it to do here, and, and again, it must have been too tight of a space, but I was trying to get a little bit of a, an alternating pathway there where they would like be able to go down like maybe like two rows of stairs or whatever. Maybe if I made it thinner, but I don't think you can make it thinner. I think that's the smallest that a path can get. Um, unless, hmm, I'm gonna have to try something. I'll let you know if it works in the future. Um, all right, so here we are wrapping up our video, guys. There you go, that is our Crazy Taxi Coaster Station. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, catch you next time.